Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Station Ears, just as the sun's setting behind the mountain. Although it was shining through the mountain. Uh, this is probably going to be a fairly short video today, because all I want to really do is get some solar panels set up up there. In preparation of that, I have been out and I have been mining. Oops, wrong button. That one. Where is it? Where's my backpack? There it is. Uh, so I've got a load of iron, some co um, some copper, some coal, a bit more water. Um, got my little mining belt, not a lot at the moment, but I don't need that on me at the moment either. So the first thing we've got to do is create some steel because what I want or what I need is astro astro alloy. What I need is astro alloy. Astro alloy. No, astro alloy. That's all I'm going to call it. Astro alloy. And for that, we need a 25% copper, 50% steel, and 25% cobalt. So if I make 200 grams of steel, I will require 100 grams of copper and 100 grams of cobalt. And then we just check water, food's good, uh, oxygen tank's good, waste's good, and battery is flat. Oh, that battery's not quite charged yet. Uh, how much power have we got up there? Plenty. So I'm just going to nick this one. Okay. Anyway, let's check that I've closed up my helmet. Yes, I have. There we go. So, for Astro Alloy. Um, we require 30 megapascals of a 1k, 34 megapascals of 1k and 100k. So the, the pressure is the main thing here. It needs to be quite high. Um, but first I need to make the steel. Now let's close down our output pump. Turn on the printer and open up the input pump. We need to, yeah, get this up quite high. Just keep an eye on it. Is it both the temperature at? So what I'm going to do is, while we're waiting for the temperature to rise, and this will also help the temperature, so the pressure rise, is make some steel. It's my 150 grams of iron. 50 grams of coal and the temperature must have dropped. Yeah, it has, so I need to drop some 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 8 volatile for oxide. That'll ramp the pressure up and get the temperature up. So now we've got our steel ingot, which I need. Oh, be careful of temperature, that uh, pressure, sorry. I might just have to close down the input and bend it a little bit. Uh, 25, okay. That can always bring the pressure back up. So I need our cobalt. We've got 100 grams of cobalt here, I believe. It's 50, 100, yeah. So let's put our cobalt in. See, pressure's going back up again. Temperature's still high enough. Put our copper in. Stealing. Let's make sure the pressure is above 30 megapascals. Oh, it's come down a little bit, so we may have to. There we go. Temperature stay above 
there we go, just enough. Bang. That's our Astro Alloy. Which we will need in the A Electronics printer. While I'm here I may as well get some more iron. Um steel, sorry. Fifty fifty coal Here's our steel, we stop bending some of that. And then might as well just get a fifty copper as well. Okay, now we can just vent that all out into the... Oh, careful. A groaning as a pipes. Okay, let's just vent that back out. And turn on our electronic printer. So, solar. Heavy solar panels, where are you? Solar panel basic heavy, there we go. Is that the right one? Let's make it shoot the right one. Solar panel heavy, it is what I want, not that one. That one's just a flat angled one. This is the one that will rotate. And steel, yeah, this is why I need our steel. Which couple we've got in there? 33 grams, yeah, okay. Right, set so that printing. I want at least a couple of those. What else I'm going to have to do is um, create another four ICs because now I need to control some different solar panels. I'm hoping I can set it up up there. I might have to move that. But, um, we'll see. We shall see. If not, I can do it there. In fact, you know what? In preparation, I am going to... Got any wire on me? Yes, I've got wire. here like so and then I can oh, Filter low. take all this out down to there how much glass do I have I'm going to need this glass in my inventory no there it is I'm going to need at least 10 glass for this and I've got 20, that's fine. Okay, what are you missing now? Copper. Okay, just well, I made some more copper. There we go. Set you going. So I want this as a dual, so that's basically when you've got one connection, like so. I need the welder with the glass. Go. Let me just do something. I don't know if I did it before I came up here. Yes, I did. I changed that, didn't I? Good. I just want to make sure I didn't leave that on um, solar panels. It's make too many for me. Uh, how much cabling have I got? 12. May not be enough. Let's see how far we can get. Oop, too far. Probably need another one there. So even if I don't get this um, angled right to begin with, I'll get it moving with the sun tracking. It will at least be giving us power. They don't give you any any more power than the basic uh, 
fracking solar panels. But what they do do is not get damaged by storms. And I'm so surprised I've not had a storm yet. That's really odd. I've got no idea why. Okay, the next solar panel. Um, let's quickly go and install this. Welder, glass. Okay. So now what I need is four more ICs. Logic IO, sorry. Logic IO. Four of those. In this printer, no. Three. Four. And now I just need a load of cabling. You know what, I may have to change that again. I think I need to go around that way so I can bring the power up here into this. So yeah, I need to make a little change, I think. And we've got this, it takes up 25. Or I could possibly do something around here. I may need to move that. I'd have to move that over because I think it would interfere when I go around the corner there. Can I do that? I don't think I can really. The problem is how to get the power to the chips because I need the power um, off the separate network to the solar panel side. Cable there. I'd still struggle to get around that corner because the other ones are going to be there. I could do it here, but bring the cable around. Like I say, it would interfere with that somewhat. Let's just see what we can do. Just far over that way, logic reader power in. Batch writer. Cable there. Oh no, it might be okay actually. Yeah, nope, that should be fine. So, next one I need to have batch writer there, logic reader there, and then power coming this way. Don't need my pliers in my hand. Can I bring that power around here somehow? I can go around there. Oh, I've just put that on the wrong way, haven't I? No, 
So that's that, that's that. I need... Those connected like that. No, I just need to bring the power around here. I think I'm going to have to move this slightly. So, yeah, let's just move this around a little bit. Don't know what I need to play the spanner for this. Any pipes? Okay, not the moment, but I will uh, sort that out in a minute. It's not ideal there. It's going to the ground a bit, but I'll swap them over while I'm here anyway. Uh, pipe bender. Pipe. Stick that in there. And now I should be able to yeah, run the cabling like so. So that's our power coming in. That gas canister is filling. Now I just need to set these. So, in I want, let's go with horizontal daylight sensor, horizontal, turn that on, input to this can only be that logic reader, output type is solar panel heavy I believe. And um, we want the horizontal setting. Turn that on. There we go, spinning away. Similar with this one, we want the input vertical, vertical daylight sensor. Vertical daylight sensor and the setting to be Why won't that let me? Why won't that let me pick vertical? I'm picking the right thing. Vertical daylight sensor. Active, horizontal, vertical. Don't know one there. Okay, turn that on. This one, the only input can be the logic reader. It's only thing attached to its input. Output again is the solar panel heavy. That's that one's vertical, isn't it? Vertical daylight. So this needs to be set to vertical. Turn that on, and it should orientate itself. With the sun, that's not over there. What on earth is going on? <laughs> Why? Why? Why have you suddenly decided to point that way when the sun's over there? I am confused. You're 180 degrees out. I don't understand why. Why are you 180 degrees out? You're pointing the right way. You're all pointing the right way. Is that because I turned you all off and on? When I disconnect the power? Are you picking up the wrong readings? Input, daylight center, vertical, vertical, output, solar panel, vertical, input, horizontal, horizontal, logic reader, output, solar panel, horizontal. Well, that is very strange.
I have no idea why that suddenly changed. Horizontal minus one four six. So that's one eighty minus one four six. It's that way. So you should be pointing that way, you stupid thing. Why are you pointing this way? Hey, eh? why? Yes, I'm asking you. Okay, let's try just flipping this around. What am I seeing gas being given off from? I might buy a jetpack. Yeah, it's just quickly. Oh, this isn't the best way of doing this. I know I can save cabling by doing it the other way. Right, okay. Change my battery. Okay. Horizontal daylight center. Horizontal. Well, that is really weird. <laughs> Horizontal daylight center. Mm. Yep. Horizontal. We shall have to wait until the sun comes up and see what happens. Turn you off. Just check the pressure in this tank. That's fine here. Yeah. yeah, it's all good. Charge or charge? Okay. Well, um, I'm a bit confused there. What do I need for a laptop? I've got enough. so I can now use a laptop to program ICs. And with ICs, programming chips, you can do wonderful things in this game. One of the first things I'll do is automate this airlock. And I will need a LED, a switch, an IC housing, an IC and sensor. Okay, so there's a laptop. I will need a battery for that. No iron. Okay, we've got a battery large. Come on, son. I want to see which way these solar panels are pointing. Okay, large battery. He can go in there. He can go in the laptop. Um, does a laptop need a program? Yeah, it needs an IC programmable circuit board. Another board. IC editor, another board. I might not have enough gold. That can go in there. I see. Yeah, I need more gold. How much gold do I have here? 29 grams. What did I put in there? My screwdriver. Didn't want to do that. Turn you on. Okay. 
and spent the gas again. Gold, right chip, fill the chip quickly. Come on. So slow to print these chips. They're a circuit board. Can't be that difficult. Nearly there. Okay. Uh, housing. I see housing. That's the one we want. None of copper. Grrr. Copper, 40 grams in there. Let's just get that. Hydration critical. Come on, nearly there. I see housing. Sensor kit. Iron. Iron. Center kit, I'll build him one one and a lamp. Light. Light kit. And last but not least, a switch. Just take all these bits inside for now. So I'm going to leave it there. Next session, I will set up a. Um, well, I'll be checking my solar panels, make sure they're pointing right direction. Which way? They're pointing, they're pointing 270, and it should be pointing east. Why are you pointing in the wrong way? Where is the sun? Why are they pointing the wrong way? It's annoying me. I will set up the airlock next session. And I'm just going to quickly go and try and work out why my solar panels are pointing the wrong way. Oxygen low. Whoa, close my helmet. Lock it. That's a problem when you um, forget to close your helmet. You start to suffocate. Horizontal, minus 92, which is, yeah, that's that way, and I want you to be facing that way. Have you switched around on me or something? Horizontal, 88. 
So why are you still pointing that way? Because I haven't set you up yet. I think that was just a bit of a um, a cock up with the game. Actually, why it's not been doing it right? Why it didn't do it right? So input. What if I put. Horizontal daylight sensor. That'll do. <laughs> it's close enough. That was very strange. I don't understand why that, that turned around like that. Like, say, do you normally have these pointing north? Just this sort of angled, ang angled away facing north. If you check down your bottom right hand side there. And the um, vertical one on the east wall. And I normally point in the right direction. And they are now. But obviously, when I installed those ones, it flipped 180 for some reason. But now we should be getting. 300, 400 watts out of each and we are. Okay, so that's sorted out. Thank goodness for that. So, little panic over. I shall re enter my base. Whoa, yeah, guys, I know you. It's a stick light somewhere. It needs to be an LED. There we go. That's it. It's sufficiently out of the way, and you are. What are you? Your switch. No, no. I keep on hold of this. It's just dump all this. I'll do it properly next uh, in the next video, rather than do half it now and half it next video. Just take that down. But, no, don't want to throw that away either. Right, guys. That's it. I'm stopping here. I'm finishing for the day. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Hopefully, you've learned something. And uh, yeah, okay. Why this game drives me nuts sometimes? Because stupid things happen. Anyway, we now have four solar cells tracking the sun. And yeah, they seem to be tracking properly now. We have potatoes with one seed and one seed. So I'll let them grow a bit more. The environment in here seems pretty good. Temperature's 27 degrees, so it might be time to turn you on. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Filter critical. And I will see you next time. Strength by Gamer, wishing you good night.